Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about gaining knowledge and doing the self-work. And how talking about narcissistic abuse not only helps us but helps others. Because you never know. Who is going to hear what you have to say. We were all there once. Not knowing what has been happening to us our entire life. We were searching and searching for answers. And then we happened by someone that is telling our story. Or at least things that sound very familiar to us. And then the ball starts to roll from there. We start to listen and hear others' stories. And then before you know it we are going down the deep rabbit hole. I say this because I just got a nice comment from Tara. Who says. I came upon your channel last evening and I never go to YouTube. I spent hours watching your videos on narcissistic behavior. And I'm glad I did because the long and short of it is you saved my life last night. You speak the truth and everything you have said is spot on. Thank you. Now this was on a video entitled. The ugly toxic truth about narcissistic abuse must be talked about. Where I addressed a comment that tried to paint me as sexist and misogynistic. Because at times I talk about men and women issues that are going on in our society. And how they relate to narcissism and narcissistic abuse in a fair balanced way. Though I pull no punches. I speak about things openly and honestly. And people like Tara and many others were and are able to see the points being made. And are able to take what nuggets they need so they can hopefully do well on their journey. Of this thing we call life and healing from narcissistic abuse. Because besides talking about men and women issues. I greatly talk about narcissistic abuse as a whole. Growing up with a narcissistic parent and the list goes on and on. And the whole point is. You just never know what nugget of information is going to speak to someone. You just don't know. Again we were all there at one point. Where we had no idea what narcissistic abuse was about. We never heard the term narcissistic supply before. We had no working knowledge of gaslighting. But we stumbled upon someone's videos or their website. And before you knew it. We were educating ourselves on the evils this world has waiting for us. And that's the goal. Education. Yes. There are good people out there in the world. But sadly the evil is rapidly increasing. The Bible tells us to not love or be attached to this world for good reasons. Because so much of it has been corrupted and has been turned and used for evil use. And when we know. Don't step there. Because there's evil waiting right around the corner for us. We are able to take part in the good things. Such as helping others. Helping ourselves so we can help others. Pursuing our talents that were given to us by the Most High Himself. Because the narcissists love nothing more to see you fall short of what your potential really is. Let me tell you what men and women out there. Narcissists hate to see you make good for yourself. They want to see you wallowing around in tears and pain. Pain they relish in the fact they caused. But with education and knowledge of what this problem is really about. It becomes easier and easier to pull yourself out of that funk. That you're in. And work hard to achieve. And do all that you were meant to achieve. And do. Now. With that being said. Besides narcissism as a whole. Helping both men and women. Will I continue to talk about men and women issues? Some that aren't so fun to hear about. You betcha. As I've always done. But isn't that trying to help both men and women by doing so? Ladies and gentlemen. I can't stress this enough. The country you live in is behaving like a big corporation that is downsizing its workforce. And that's why all of the things that you see in your daily life purposely screws up men and women relationships. They don't care about you at all. They don't care about you at all. They just want you to work hard and long enough to make the elite more money. But so you die in poverty. And when you die. You have a child ready to take your place on the assembly line of life. And then eventually so you have no children ready to take your place because everything is automated. 
and how can they sustain all of these people if everything is automated? That's right. They can't. That's why they are working so hard to get you to destroy yourself. That's the narcissist model. But it's with education you can see what is going on. And take positive action to live the best life possible. No matter if you were raised by a narcissist. Or if you dated or married one. Gaining that awareness of what's going on around you. Will allow you to say no more. No more. Not today. And not tomorrow. I'm no longer going to play the game. I'm done. And these are my talents and these are my skills the Most High gave me to use. And you know what? I'm going to use them and live a fruitful and happy life. I believe in you. I believe in you. The world has gone without your gifts for far too long. Don't let your gifts find their way into old age and the graveyard unused. Because that's where the narcissist wants your talents and skills. In the graveyard. And it's your job to not let that happen. The Most High made you with care and with love. And you are here for a purpose. You are here for a purpose. With that being said. I do hope everyone had a blessed day. And as always let's continue to pray for wisdom. And let's continue to pray for strength. And let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.